Hello everyone. So today let us talk about uh, refile. Now I'm not really sure if I ever mentioned this previously in uh, my videos, but uh, today I was uh, looking at my init file, my max, uh, my dot max file, and I uh, noticed this uh, piece of code where it is uh, basically talking about uh, the refile org refile targets now this is something very interesting and uh, in fact really useful thing that you can do with org mode now we all have uh, so many things to worry about in our lives and uh, if you're like me who is doing a lot of a lot of random things uh, throughout the day i mean not really random things but uh, if you're like me who is doing lot a lot but you might be overwhelmed with uh, so many things happening at the same time so you need a system and org mode will give you the system of uh, managing your life your work your activities your projects so you can do a lot of wonderful things now imagine that you're working on something maybe you're writing a book maybe you're a, maybe you're making a video or you are in a meeting and you suddenly remember something that you have to do it could be any random task or it could be something that uh, you know you just noticed in your email now in org mode there is a concept of org capture and using org capture you can actually uh, just use this uh, org capture uh, feature to simply uh, use uh, a template for example if i show you my um, my org mode uh, I'm just trying to increase the size, but anyways. So basically, if you look at this particular uh, uh, buffer on the left-hand side, it is a bit small, I know, but uh, uh, what this buffer is trying to do, this buffer is trying to ask me, okay, Ravi, what do you want to do? What do you want to capture? So basically, as, as the name suggests, it will give you this option to capture uh, something that you just remembered, or maybe you know that you have to do but instead of going to a specific file under a specific subtree you can actually directly use uh, this or one of these uh, templates it could be a to do it could be a journal for example or it could be a task that you want to do on a regular basis so based on the template and based on your configurations this will go to a specific uh, file which is fine which we all know now the thing is when you are working on a big file in case you have you have let us say a big master file where you keep track of everything you will have of course these activities uh, here and there maybe you have one file called let us say you have this inbox.org which is the place where all the new activities go or maybe you are using capture maybe or maybe you are just using this file to store all the incoming tasks that you want to plan and then of course you plan them later on now what we can do is today i actually wanted to talk about refile so let us say you have uh, this buff i mean i'm, I'm showing you this buffer where uh, i have uh, two subtrees one is of course uh, office work and the other one is uh, inbox so imagine that this is your inbox file and you have here uh, some uh, tasks that you want to do now this will of course this list will grow and it will continue to grow but what if you want to now plan the work so when you when you have to plan the work of course you will do few things like you will assign a date so you can do control c control s you can then plan that okay you want to do it on 17th of february and maybe you want to do it uh, at uh, nine o'clock in the morning and you want to work on it for maybe one hour so you can say that okay i wanted to I, i'm going to work on it on 17th from 9 a.m till 10 a.m and uh, this is great but this is of course right now under a wrong tree or wrong head wrong parent and we have to basically move it to uh, this particular subtree on top of course you can do it manually because it is nothing but a text file and it is a great thing because it, it is nothing but a text file so you can just move it right so just uh, copy it or cut it and uh, you can then paste it right this is this is this is fine but we want to do it in a better way so what you can do is you can do something like uh, Control C and uh, Control W, I believe, 
let me do it again yeah control c control w and you will get the option to move it to a specific uh, location and I i'll talk about what locations you can define when you're doing reef file so you can actually use uh, if, if that particular location or file or subtree whatever is uh, valid then you can type the name of the subtree in that particular file so my subtree or uh, the target location is reef file office work and if i press enter it will now move great now how, how can we define uh, where what all possible targets uh, we can have and at what level you want to move it so in the init file you can actually look at uh, this particular I mean, basically you can uh, modify this uh, variable which is org refile targets and you can then define these target files it could be your uh, master file or whatever file and for each and every file you can actually define their uh, max level and uh, this is something that i have been using for a while no in fact in, in fact it has been like more than two years i guess and i love this feature in org mode just like all the other features but this is wonderful and i thought I, i'll also I, i'll also share it with all of you because this is really 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 useful so that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much